All right, guys, getting ready to do a collective read. Let's see what is showing up for the collective. What is going on? Majority energy renewal of knowledge. One more. Focus. Okay. Somebody's coming back into focus. There's something here that like spirit took away from you or like it wasn't um, getting, it wasn't available to you then. Like you, almost like, you know how like COVID came in and like took everything away, kind of like changed everything. Now things are coming, they've been back to normal. That's just an example. But um, like something was stalled, changed or something like that. And, but now it's coming back. It's, it's re, you're gonna receive some knowledge, some an idea, something, a message, air spirit, and now you're gonna have this back in your focus. You're gonna be refocused on something that was taken away from you. You're gonna focus on it and manifest it. Anything else from this deck? You've been going through a passage towards stability. Okay, energy. Yeah, it feels like, because passage to me is like when you're in that dark phase, you're learning the lesson or something's just not available for whatever reason. Um, like when the short, the tide goes in and out, you know, they say different, you know, we're, uh, we're on like ups and downs. You were in like a down phase before. Now you're going back up. Stability and energy. I feel like money or stability or love or something that you've been wanting to focus on is coming back into your grasp. Like you can have it now. You can focus on it. You can have more. Um, under the deck is transmutation. So that is like rising from the ashes. So it's like you're coming out of a phase of being at the bottom and you're starting to rise to the top. And it's also something that you wanted. But I feel like it was taken away from you or it was, you know, blocked. Is now coming back into focus. You can have it now. It's the feeling I'm getting from those cards. Um, and I feel like also, I'm going to tell you right now, stability. I feel like some of you are a little bit pissed. I feel like you're like, I'm going to go for this. I'm going to take everything I've got and put it into this and manifest whatever it is. Love, money, you know, a move. That's kind of what I'm getting here. Something started around the 17th, which was a couple days ago. But what is going on for the collective here? We have a yeah, higher power being involved in this whole situation. Serendipity. Right place, right time. And you are between worlds. And under the deck is happy, happy. So that's, that's exactly what I'm getting. Spirit will help with this. They're going to bring something to you. Something even manifesting or wanting... Maybe even for, you know, a couple of years now. Something's going to get better. It's going to get brighter. What's going on? What is the energy? Phase is over. Death. Perfect card. Seven of Coins. Abundance. Ace of Swords. This is that Knowledge card. Eight of Wands and the Seven of Cups. You could have more options, opportunities open up for you. With the Seven of Cups and the Seven of Coins. So what is this death energy? What's coming in with the three of wands? This could be like going on right now. Two of wands, a decision will have to be made. So something that's over, and again, it could just be energetically. A phase has ended. So you will have to be making a decision very soon. It, three of wands can be like right now, up, like up until like three weeks. Two of wands, one more for that. Okay, I wouldn't worry. If you're going to worry, I don't think that's what you need to do. You'll have the wisdom. You'll know what to do. What is the seven of coins? Be a water sign this could be you watching you could be um water sign maybe isn't moving forward something not wanting to make a decision getting stuck in emotions but you'll know the answer you could be that masculine energy having to make this big decision but you're stuck in emotions you don't know what choice to make but you will realize um what it is with the sun ace of swords is some sort of message coming towards you let me do one more for the two or wands so i do believe I was going to say, you have all the twos. You may not, you're missing one, right? The two of pentacles. Okay, but you have a decision here to make, and it could be around love, it could be around work or career, obviously moving, something like that, a big decision maybe. Okay, so this could be even like moving in with someone or something like that, but not wanting to see a new beginning of family or making decision. Two of cups, a message about love or partnership coming towards you, and you're going to have to decide what to do next. What is this eight of wands? Eight of coins. This could be, again, 
I'm gonna you're gonna have two choices showing that clearly two paths it doesn't have to be two people in love it does not have to be two choices in work but it's gonna be a choice between two things and they're showing it as two people now it almost looks like this is someone who might be flaky I can't let me do one more for that the world yeah the ten of wands yeah this energy here feels like something that is uh, maybe overwhelming something that you don't want to do anymore something where I'm getting some of you actually packing up and going whereas this one up here is something you want it's fun it's new it's available to you could be that something that was again like I said closed off with the eight of swords is now available you don't have to do this anymore you don't have to be with this person you don't have to deal with this job so what is the seven of cups what is the seven of cups justice Something's becoming clear. Something that, again, is something you've been wanting to manifest, just like the card said. And I see you putting your all your energy into this. Something is available and money. I am getting like money, lots of money, stability, energy. I mean, you can come in a relationship, you can come in a job, obviously, you can come in a windfall of money, a win, something like that. Um, and it shows me like, again, universe doesn't care. It's about manifesting. You know, they just, you just have to put your energy in it when it's available and it's here. And that's why I feel like you're gonna put your all into this. Like it's like you're gonna put blinders on, you're not gonna look around, you're like, I'm just going for this. I want this, I've been in a, like a period of what I don't know what to do and now I know what to do and so I'm gonna grab it, I'm gonna go. So I've been noticing those readings kind of popping up. Be ready for this opportunity, be ready for this person's, you know, um, invite or whatever it is, proposal. For some of you, this could be a difference between a water sign and a fire sign. They're saying the water sign is the one, the one you want, the one you're going towards. Um, so maybe this is a job opportunity, dream job coming in. So, yeah, I don't really, I can't even, I don't think this is a love reading for most of you. I would probably do another one, another collective, maybe ask for a love reading, but Spirit wanted this one to come through. Open your heart. It will help you attract more love. And you also have listened to your intuition. Some of you need to go on a vacation. Oh, that's so funny. So this says you'll be traveling soon. That might make sense that some of you listen to your intuition. You could be visiting someone. Some of you, maybe it's time for a divorce. Maybe resources will open up so you can like proceed forward. I don't think I'm gonna pull a love card or anything for this particular reading, but I'm going to pull from this one because these are, what are the messages? Anything else, messages? Okay, so I'm gonna read the title because it'll make sense. You have an opportunity here that's luck, lucky opportunity. There's communication and sunshine. So there's opportunities around luck, good communication coming in, something's gonna make you happy. Something is opening up completely for you. I'm gonna grab a different deck. Again, I do get like you could be manifesting large sums of money right now with the Ten of Pentacles here. If you want it, you can um, maybe travel, take a vacation, go someplace where it's sunny. What is the sun card up here? The wheel is turning, not having to worry about something. Wow, a big opportunity. Something's turning around. Some of you may quit a job sometimes when I see stuff like this, like you may just up and quit a job and not tell people what you're doing. There's an opportunity here. It could be love, because I'm not gonna rule out love, but it's more than just that. Can you show us anything about this luck, lucky card, luck? Five of wands, permit. Some of you guys, okay, some of you guys aren't lucky. You don't feel lucky. You lost something. Um, something didn't go in your your favor and maybe that's a good thing look at that there's arguing or not being able to make a decision pulling back feeling weighed down but then wish fulfilled but that's what i got i got like something has been held back from you it was not the right time for whatever reason it could be lots of reasons but now all of a sudden there is a wish fulfilled that is lucky so all right guys i'm gonna leave it there have a great week